This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. How's it going, everyone? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, I'll come to supplement known as fish oil. This is a compound that's primarily made up of two fatty acids called DHA and EPA. These compounds have fundamental roles in regulating cognition, reducing inflammation, maintaining heart health, and alleviating depression. Moreover, it can indirectly influence dopamine function and contribute to whether or not you feel happy or motivated. I'll go over anything you want to know, including the benefits, how it works, difference between forms, dosage, my personal experience, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. oil is a dietary supplement that contains omega-3 fatty acids, which are essential nutrients known for various health benefits. Oils and fats are extracted from predatory fish tissue and subsequently sold as supplements. These fish accumulate omega-3 fatty acids by eating microalgae or other fish. Some of the fish that contain high amounts of omega-3s are swordfish, albacore tuna, and sharks. Fish oil is typically only about 30% omega-3s, with the remaining 70% consisting of different types of fats. Additionally, fish oil contains trace amounts of vitamins A and D. Signs of omega-3 deficiency are dry skin, joint pain, fatigue, or emotional issues. What's next, taking fish oil? Generally speaking, omega-3s are vital for overall good health and cognition and come in three different types, ALA, DHA, and EPA. ALA is sourced from plants, while EPA and DHA are mainly present in fatty fish, such as sardines, salmon, anchovies, and mackerel. Most dietary supplements disregard ALA and only include EPA and DHA due to their superior bioavailability and established health benefits. EPA can help reduce the risk of blood clot formations and acts as a potent anti-inflammatory agent. It helps reduce excessive inflammation and can treat things like rheumatoid arthritis. DHA is a vital nutrient that enhances the transmission of brain signals and contributes to the repair and growth of neurons. Boy, that brain never stops working, does it? Approximately 60% of your brain is fat and a significant portion of that is DHA. This reason is why DHA produces more nootropic benefits than EPA does. That being said, when you start taking DHA, there won't be any prominent effects right away that you can physically feel. Rather, it works more in the background and if you experience things like chronic depression, you should start to see an improvement in your mood over time. After a while, you should find yourself thinking faster and clear, have a greater capacity for learning, and experience more motivation. So how you feel? Awesome. Furthermore, omega-3 fatty acids can indirectly influence dopamine function. They provide essential building blocks that your body needs to produce dopamine and assist the brain in synthesizing neurotransmitters. Supplementing with omega-3s increase D2 receptor binding, which mediates the effects of the dopamine reward system. It also reduces oxidative stress, which may protect dopamine-producing neurons. Moreover, omega-3s have been linked to improvements in mood and pleasure. Since dopamine plays a role in mood control, omega-3s may indirectly support a more stable dopamine system. When I supplement with fish oil, I take it at nighttime and I feel like when I wake up the next day, I have more dopamine to use. I woke up feeling dangerous! To me, it seems like it makes other drugs more stronger if I take fish oil the night before. Almost anything ranging from stimulants to benzodiazepines, it feels like they fire off more of my dopamine receptors after I take fish oil. I take fish oil every morning. After supplementing with it for a while, I feel like I have a slightly higher tolerance to stress and less brain fog in which my mind feels more clear. Regarding the dosage, it is most often used by adults in quantities of 1 to 3 grams per day for up to several months at a time. Products typically provide a balance of 180 to 465 milligrams of EPA and 120 to 375 milligrams of DHA per capsule. The fatty acids make it into your bloodstream about 4 hours after taking it. Most healthcare professionals recommend not to exceed 4 grams in a day because taking too much can lead to side effects. Effects. It could entail heartburn, fishy breath, or nausea. Although it's not clear yet if you need more DHA or more EPA, your body does require a combination of both in order for each to work properly. We must band together. We must never sleep. Whether or not you take more of one or the other is a choice that depends on the person and what their individual health goals and conditions are. Your body cannot synthesize DHA or EPA on its own, so you must get it from food or as a dietary supplement. In addition, they're only absorbed by your system if you consume it with a meal that contains fat. To ensure maximal bioavailability, it is recommended to take it with 20 to 50 grams of fat. Otherwise, the absorption rate becomes abysmal and barely any of it will go to use. This is similar to the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K in regard to how it can be wasteful if you don't take them with a source of fat. A supplement that I think pairs well with fish oil is called CDP choline. CDP choline raises the production of acetylcholine, which can improve brain uptake of DHA and provide synergistic effects. Watch this video next on everything you to know about CDP choline and why it's crucial for learning and maintaining memories. In fact, CD choline is so important that without it, we wouldn't be able to remember how to do anything at all. My name is Fish and I stay low key. Peace out.